Yeah, it, it's probably time. 11.43, 17 minutes until the deadline. I think it's time I get my ballot in, my votes in for the 2022 YouTube Hall of Fame. So it's just something we've done for the last three, four years. It was started by Baseball Collector this year, being taken over by Jake, Legends Never Die, better known in some parts as the Ticket Leprechaun. Um, Jake made a few changes. I definitely agree with moving it to uh, channels having three years of making content to be uh, qualified. That is something that we probably should have had done a few years ago, um, but also only five people getting in. I think that's a little tight. Um, I know Jake said he wanted to see it kind of continue going and make sure it keeps going strong. And the fact is there are hundreds of channels that you could easily consider. There's really thousands of channels that have made some sort of sports card content. And I see no reason why that won't continue to grow, but hey, it's Jake's, uh, Jake's deal. So you got to do what he does. Anyway, uh, I have 10 here. Eight of them are being carried over from last year's ballot. Uh, as only two got in that I voted for last year, Up North Collectors and Mr. Fisher Bike. So uh, back on the ballot, Squeepa21, awesome channel, guy who's been around for a decade, um, does a great job showing off autographs, big time autograph collector, uh, autographed cards, and he just does it consistently. And he's an awesome dude in the community, uh, definitely old school guy. And most of these people are gonna be old school people. I mean, I didn't even look how long they made videos because I knew three years was not a problem. Typically, I've always voted for older channels. At least people who have been around for a couple years. I think the only person who I had ever voted for that was only around for like a year was Pepino Man a few years ago. And that's because his impact uh, on on the hobby, on the community um, side of this hobby was just so strong that I, I couldn't deny that. So, so that's the way we're going to be uh, rolling through some of these. Uh, TTM Autograph, TTM Troy, uh, big time dude in the TTM community. Got to have him on the ballot once again. So Troy, hopefully you uh, get some support here. Number three, Maxa Jackson. T206 Collector, another guy who's just been churning out videos for years and years and years. Number four, Dead Guy Cardboard. Incredible channel, just awesome, awesome videos. Definitely puts a lot of effort into them, a lot of thought. You can learn a ton, and you can learn a lot from all of these guys. And that's the thing. There are so many people in this community, so many people in the hobby that you can continue to learn from. You really don't need the clickbait titles, the clickbait Thumbnails, I mean, the investors, you'll learn way more about the hobby that can help you, even if you're into investing from the longtime collectors than the people who just jumped on the scene trying to, uh, you know, sell you their knowledge, their knowledge. Number five, Bart's Cards, Bart the PSA card guy. Once again, got him on the ballot. Consistent. Incredible, been doing the graded thing well before it was cool to uh, do the graded thing. And Bart just, I mean, he has an awesome collection, but I don't really look at people's collection as really a factor. Um, just an impact, teaching people, making videos, consistently making them, doing them for a long time. He's a Nationals fan. He's a 49ers guy. Maybe a little down after that unfortunate NFC championship I was pulling for his Niners, but Bart, you deserve a vote. You got one from me. Number six, Dave's midlife card crisis. Once again, have Dave on the ballot. Another guy who I said in the past, he was someone who at one point was bridging the gap between the old school YouTube people and the new school. I mean, now he's guess considered old school because he's been around for like seven, eight years. But Dave's amazing. Look forward to him year in and year out at the National. And once again, he's hanging out with brand new people. He's hanging out with people who are veterans of 10 years. Um, and Dave continues to uh, churn out videos. He's not gonna put a video out three times a week, but he's gonna have a video and every time one pops in, gotta watch it. All right, number seven, Rate It Rookie. I got Josh on here. Josh is, uh, again, awesome. I had a chance to meet him a few years ago at the National. Now I've met him multiple times. And Josh just, again, does fantastic content. 
he will do his top list, his top pickups. He'll just kind of do whatever he's feeling like. But great, uh, great member of this community. So I got Josh on there. And then Amish Dave Archer, have him on for, uh, for yet another ballot. I think uh, Dave continues to get support. Again, another guy, been doing it for a long, long time, has a million PCs, collects a ton of stuff, and he's continuing to post stuff on his original account, but he also does the Insert Revolution podcast, another consistent podcast, and that's really fun, really in- interactive. I, uh, I watch it whenever I can, not always live. Usually I'm watching uh, the archives, but it's super fun, has different guests on and brings people on. So Dave uh, continues to, uh, to share some knowledge, to share his content, um, to share his collection and share the hobby. So that's awesome. All right. And now shifting gears a little bit, adding two people to the list. So these are guys that I had previously voted for, but they were part of the good guy votes and the lifetime achievement votes in the past. You would vote for a few people in those categories, but not anymore, one each. So I just bumped Caleb's TTMs and more, Caleb's cards, TTMs and more. Um, onto my just regular Hall of Fame list. Caleb's been doing it for years, super generous, TTM guy. TTMs do not get much love in this community anymore. At least, while I think people appreciate them, they just definitely don't get the views and there's not as many people, at least I don't see as many people doing it anymore. Um, I, for one, am someone who really got involved in this community doing through the mail autograph request. And I mean, just time, Time becomes difficult, and I have a lot of respect for people who consistently send that stuff in. I just, it's one of those things that I just ran out of time to do. Not that I don't want to get back into it um, to some degree at some point, just haven't had uh, the time to do it. But Caleb's been doing it for years, and he also is collecting cards. I mean, he's getting photographs signed, but he's also getting cards signed, and he's buying cards and picking up cards and Caleb's been doing it consistently uh, for a long, long time. And I really think he deserves our support uh, as a community. And number 10, the new addition is Brad 8671, a guy who could have easily been on, been in a long time ago, but it is, uh, it's tough. I mean, the thing is, and you always feel guilty and you feel bad, like, oh, how did I not vote for that guy? Or how is that person not in? But like I said earlier, there's hundreds and hundreds of channels. Uh, I mean, there's some people out there who think that like YouTube became a thing with sports cards in the last year or two during the pandemic, and that's just couldn't be further from the truth. It's been going on since the inception of YouTube. It's been going on for over 10 years. Uh, slow build, it wasn't necessarily as many people, but there were people doing it. There were people opening packs. There were people showing off autographs. There were people showing off um, their collection and talking about the hobby. And of course, things have evolved and grown, but it, it's hard to narrow it down. It, it's, I mean, I've, in the past, I would have literally a hundred channels and it would be so hard to break it down. A little easier now because I just use that same list and I keep voting for the same guys and just add people in. And I still have a list. I have a list here to my right um, of people that I would love to add and people who are well-deserving and people who may very well get in, um, but they're just at it there. And at some point when some of these guys I've voted for are elected, I'll be able to shift them onto my list uh, if they aren't. And if they do get on, I'll be able to move some others. So those are my 10, uh, the Joe Ryan 30, getting a vote for that. I'm gonna go with the Autograph Network. Uh, just a fantastic channel. Another guy, I mean, he has videos he has all his videos still on there, or at least a ton of them, and they're 10 plus years old, many of them. Um, and he's someone who helped me when I was getting into the hobby, uh, not into the hobby, but into YouTube and doing the TTM stuff uh, to learn, um, to garner ideas. So he was very helpful with that. And I know he's been very helpful to many others and doing some charity work as well. So. The Autograph Network gets my vote for the Joe Ryan 30 Good Guy Award, so there's a vote there. And, you know, I struggled with the Lifetime Achievement and Thundering 24, someone I've always uh, voted for, one of the guys who really had crazy view totals and crazy amounts and stuff. 
um, analytic stuff before that was really even something people looked at. Uh, but I think I was inspired by Dave's midlife card crisis because this is another guy I've had on it. I've had on my ballot in the past um, and I've had on the uh, Lifetime Achievement. But I'm going with Mike Fabian, Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards. Uh, Mike, awesome dude. Had the pleasure of meeting him at the National multiple times. Uh, he, you know, He's had a step away from the hobby um, back and forth. But unfortunately, his videos are not still accessible to the public but he like he was a huge inspiration to a lot of people three four years ago i mean he did super fun videos they were must watch informative um it was fun to watch him break packs and stuff and he was a big deal like if he was doing what he did at the rate he was garnering kind of uh support and people watching his videos in like today's YouTube, he would have been one of those guys who piled up like 5,000 subscribers in his first year. Um, he was an awesome guy. So I'm going to give him uh, my vote for the Lifetime Achievement Award. And that is it. Uh, I got to upload this thing. It's due in five minutes. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I guess we'll see uh, who gets in sometime soon. Uh, good luck, Jake. I know you have a lot of last minute votes, but that's that's just the way we do it here. All right. See you.